So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Shit. That's really him. Oh. What's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> oh, is brushing my ribs still part of the protocol? <laughs> so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it.
she's all grown up. And I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. I don't know why I said that. Me neither. <laughs> but I love the enthusiasm. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Laith, owner of the flower shop and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find a prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Called it. Wow. You two are already wonder twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I've read online. That lily of the valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? If Charlotte loves sunflowers, go with the sunflowers. That's what I was thinking. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just... Tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. 
Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. How to Kill Everything You Touch, a flower book by Alex Chen. Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? What if I don't get in? Shit. What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. Aw, I wonder who they are. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. The tiny house movement is really taking off. This gnome has been places. Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh God, please stop. No problem. mandatory for any enchanted garden. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. What if I don't get in? Shit. What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? No category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Mm, about three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. 
She's worth it. Yep. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. I just don't want you to fall. You need to... These are really nice. Thanks. I hand wove every wreath myself. Wow. Well, here we are. Wow. Good to know. Step one, patch things up with Charlotte. And step two, Alex and Charlotte become best friends and everyone's happy forever. Gabe's pretty... Gabe Chen. Flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh. Hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? <sighs> She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. I'd rather shoot fire from my hand, burn all my enemies to a crisp. What if you're high-fiving a friend and the fire ring goes off? Risky. <laughs> if you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man. I shouldn't have told you that. I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? You don't need to worry. Really. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way.
Oh, uh... Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now, which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since... forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? I've seen some cool things so far. Like, this record store is amazing. I didn't expect anything like this here. Yep, it's our cultural landmark for sure. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. (laughs) The National Park Service gave it five stars. (laughs) So, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you... Don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. Damn. I know I saw it before. Want to help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. You're not the boss of me, poster.
standing on stage in front of a crowd of strangers? Fuck creepy crawlies. That's the stuff of nightmares. How very small town. Okay, Steph. Let's see what you're into. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Okay. A seriously obscure indie pattern. Color me impressed. Ninth Warden. Hero of the Intergalactic Peace Wars. And friend. To lonely children everywhere. Huh. Colorado digs its alt rock, I see. I did a report on Jane Eyre once in high school. I'd love to actually read the book one day. Valkyrie. That's one badass cat name. Wait, is that the hold list? Emergency guitar. In case of sweet jam sesh, break glass. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. <laughs> I love that this town has their own radio station. I could have sworn she set it down over here. Don't get me wrong, Steph's great, but she can be kind of a mess. Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? Are you trying to die? I wanted to see what would happen. You're just lucky Steph's behind a soundproof wall. Hey, luck or not, I've officially cheated death. How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? Perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. Gabe and I used to dream about cutting demos all the time as kids. Never got there. It's been so long since I've played. How very small town. Don't freak out. I'm just gonna... Okay, just kidding. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away, if we can find it. Give me a hand. This is Haven Springs. A tiny town so deep in the mountains that car sickness is the price of entry, with its own radio station, record store, and dispensary. It still doesn't feel real, like I could wake up back in that group home any moment. But I guess this is my home now. 
walking Scott Street feeling like a stranger With an open heart, open container I've got a stack of mail and a tall can It's a shower, beer, it's a payment plan Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? I think Gabe's gotten so emo that he doesn't like instruments anymore. Just dudes. Screaming and crying into the microphone. Dear God, let's hope not. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Maybe that drawer? It could be. Celine Dion's greatest hits? You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Mm, nothing. Looks like a toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Damn. Maybe in the junk box. Ah. And we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? <laughs> All right. Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Should've known. Seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? Actually, he was a pretty badass older brother. He smoked cigarettes, which at the time I thought was awesome. And he somehow managed to get his first tattoo when he was 12. Damn. The legend only grows. <laughs> All right, you're looking at 20 even. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. 
come on. Do you have any idea how much time I've put into this? You just... No, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> it's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had... I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? Well, you have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls, though. I'll be there, one sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Are you okay? I'm great, thanks. Just, did she say organizing a LARP? <laughs> yep. Beyond DJing, Steph's also queen of the Haven nerds. Sounds like there's some unrest in the kingdom. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? You know, talking about bird calls and bird call related media. This guy really loves his birds. Guilty. You know we're trying to keep her in Haven, right? Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, He's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> hey, by the way, Mac was in here earlier and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. I should check in. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Atta boy. No, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. Dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> we trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Char. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? Uh, I should probably tell you something. Shoot. Earlier when Ethan and I were talking, he mentioned exploring some old mine. Oh, man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> this fucking kid. I'm going to tell Charlotte. Just give me a sec. Ooh, Ethan's in trouble. 
Really? We'll see. I appreciate you telling me. You, you did the right thing. What do you say we get you settled in? This is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Sounds like it. Look who it is. Jed! Hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Buddy hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His boss, he means. You on the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit, you know that? <laughs> He just about wet himself, waiting for you to get here. <laughs> oh, did he manage to hold it in this time? Good for you, Gabe. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail. I'll fill you in later. Like, you do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah. So just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. Shit, man. This is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. When you said that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Seriously, this is great. And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. Gabe, I love it. Good. I mean it. I don't know what to say. You can say thank you. Or maybe you're the best. Or I'm definitely naming my first and third born children Gabriel or Gabriela. <laughs> sure thing. Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just, you look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah? 
Do I look how you expect it? I honestly didn't expect you to have a beard. Oh, well, they didn't tell you? When you move to Colorado, you automatically get an amazing beard, a pretentious knowledge of craft beers, and a Subaru. Funny. I didn't get any of those things. Don't worry, I will stop at nothing to get you your very own Colorado welcome kit. <laughs> Good, because I actually got you something. Wait, what? Surprise. Wait, is this... This is the album I requested. I know, I'm good. I was going to get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. like old times. I don't know. Stop that. I can't. It's too late. <laughs> oh yeah, go get him, bro. Lifetime of practice! <laughs> Your turn. Fine. Give me a sec. Yeah! Hey, Mac. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend! Dude, I promise, you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass right uh, now! No. No, 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 not here. No, no, not here! It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you! I didn't... Hey, it's okay. You 
Jesus is fucking psycho. You could both go fuck yourselves. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Wait, Alex, it's fine. I gotta go stop my shift. Great. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I guess I might as well unpack. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here. I'm gonna choose to believe this isn't about me.
Bry, I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? A high school dropout? A guy who went to a fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my god, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. Alex. Do I want to know? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Anita and Eduardo. They were one of the good ones. Wow, Gabe's been looking for me for a while. So Mac was reading Riley's text, boyfriend of the year. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? At least I held it to- Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so... personal. Huh. I've really changed the art style since I read these. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. We didn't even get to finish the song. Is that a sword? Gabe always wanted a bike like this. But it looks like Mr. John Chen left San Miguel County about six months after his arrival. Yeah, is, is there like a forwarding address on file? I'm sorry, sir. That's not information we retain. Thanks again for calling the San Miguel County Clerk's Office. And have a pleasant afternoon. No, 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 no! Hey, don't! <sighs> Gabe was still trying to find Dad when he got here. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe.
Gabe looks like he fits right in. Oh man, Gabe used to crush me, jerk. What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. Oh God, Shoo Shoo's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Ethan's really talented. Makes sense that his mom's an artist. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. At least she cared. More than I can say for most.
I really wish those meds had worked. Chelsea, the rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Crazy how much we've changed. No way. Guess Gabe didn't cut out our parents. How mature. Look at them. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. It's really nice that Gabe and I both held on to this photo. We've seen things, haven't we, Shu Shu? My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. Ugh. I'll finish this later. No fucking way.
Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? When you were here before Look you in the eye You dress like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special you're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here Whatever makes you happy Whatever you want You're so very special God, I wish I was special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here I don't belong here You and your damn surprises, Gabe Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. 